The Queen's coffin returned to Buckingham Palace on Tuesday evening for the last time as members of the firm prepare to say a final goodbye before she lies in state for four days prior to her state funeral on Monday. The moment was captured on camera in what Daily Mail royal editor Rebecca English described as a spine-tingling photograph on Twitter. She said, such a spine-tingling photograph. The Queen returns to Buckingham Palace, the office, for the last time, where her family awaits to say a private thank you and farewell before handing Her Majesty over to the nation, and four days of lying in state. The Queen's children and grandchildren greeted the coffin as it arrived including King Charles III, Camilla, the Queen Consort, the Prince and Princess of Wales along with the Duke and Duchess of Sussex. The hearse was accompanied by Princess Anne on a 17-mile journey from Raff Northolt having been flown from Edinburgh. Although it was raining crowds gathered along OMG the route to pay their final respects with shouts of hip, hip hooray were heard along with applause. A number of people in the crowd put down their umbrellas as a sign of respect while mobile phone cameras lit up as well-wishers documented the historic moment. After witnessing the arrival of the coffin the king and the queen consort later left Buckingham Palace. The procession to place marks the end of a long and solemn journey which began when the queen's coffin left Balmoral Castle on Sunday. In a state MT released on Tuesday, the Princess Royal said it had been an honor and a privilege to accompany her mother's coffin on its final journey having traveled with the queen's coffin from Balmoral Castle. She said, witnessing the love and respect shown by so many on these journeys has been both humbling and uplifting. We will all share unique memories. I offer my thanks to each and every one who share our sense of loss. We may have been reminded how much of her presence and contribution to our national identity we took for granted. Thousands of mourners paid their respects as the Queen lay at rest in St. Giles Cathedral, in Edinburgh overnight be fire her coffin was flown to Raff Northolt on Tuesday evening. The national anthem was played on the Raff plane which had been used to evacuate people from Afghanistan and deliver weapons to Ukraine. The Queen's coffin will rest in the bow room of the palace overnight before departing for Westminster Hall where it will lie in state at exactly 1422 on Wednesday.